Yo, a pit maneuver at 139 miles per hour on the highway in a police chase? 139. Arkansas State Police does not care. If they want you, they're going to get you. I'm not playing with you. Dodge Challenger RT does its best, and I do mean its best because its best wasn't enough. Pit maneuver at 139 on the highway. They did your boy dirty. But trust and believe, the chase did not end there. Because wait, there's more. Let's get into it. What's up guys, it's your boy Knockout360 here with another video, man. So you can tell I'm in a house that makes us a house vlog. You know how it's going down when I come around. Let's get into it, man. Car content, car shows, car reviews, car meets, anything and everything car related happens on this channel. So if you're into that, make sure that you stick around for everyone else. Hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so that you know what's coming out and when it's coming out. So first things first, a little bit of a house cleaning here, uh, housekeeping here. I've got new microphones that I'm working with, so I need you guys to listen to the audio Real carefully in this video, let me know if you hear something clipping, if you hear some distortion, if something sounds louder than it should or more quiet than it should. I'm trying to upgrade the audio because a lot of you guys have been saying that you've had a hard time hearing the actual uh, police chases and videos and stuff like that, which I understand. So I've got two mics right now, one on me, one actually recording the audio coming from the uh, computer. So hopefully that should clear some issues. But uh, without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into it, man. I'm talking too, 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 too much. All right, so boom, first off, shout out to my man LRHN, dropping absolute heat, man. This is the second video back to back that your man has dropped nothing but heat. Uh, so starting off, to my understanding, what happens is that the Dodge Challenger RT is already in a police chase, and this particular officer with ASP got called into it. So you know what I'm saying? The, the chase is coming to him. So that's why it's uh, the audio is muted, but I'm going to go ahead and get it, get it where we need it to be. All right. All right, so this is him just waiting on the side of the road. Oh, I hate those things on the side of the highway. Nine thirty. Yeah. There we go. Chase is on. Let's go. We got action. All right, so he's on the highway. Smart, smart. All right, got two troopers. This is the guy ahead of him. Yeah, let's go. Just like that, he caught up to him. Look at the speed right here, 137. He tries to pit him at 137 and fails, bro. That's crazy. All right, now it's on. Look at him juking. He trying to juke the cop. I know he's not going to pit him at 139. No way. I know he's not going to pit him at 139. Are you serious? 139. TVI, tactical vehicle uh, interference. Look at the challenger. Look at your boy running. Look at your boy running. This is from the other cops' perspective. Look at, they did the challenger dirty, man. They did the challenger dirty. All right, so that's the challenger on the left. Yeah, we 
got one running down towards the corner. Right, 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 right. You got any weapons in here? Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Can y'all stay in the heart of the My man got them pants hanging low. That's one of those old deputy uh, droop along looking ass troopers right there. Got them pants hanging low. That belt, that utility belt always be down here by the knees. <laughs> Here. Oh man, that's a woman. That's a lady. So the, so the driver just took off and left his woman in the car. Peace. I'd hate to be a challenger right about now. So now they're looking for your boy on foot. Damn, they just described him. They still looking for his ass too. So they're still looking for you, boy. And I believe he got away. And check this out. The driver wasn't even the owner of the car. The person that actually stayed with the car, the passenger, the, the, the chick that uh, they pulled over and pulled out and put on the ground, she actually owned that car. You know what I mean? That's how crazy it is. I'll be damned if somebody in my car gets into a high-speed police chase and for number one loses, number two crashes out, and then number three takes off and leaves me to deal with the, the mayhem and the foolishness. Like, you're crazy. Like, that, that's, that's absolute lunacy right there. That you're going to drive my shit, lose control of it in a high-speed chase, get pit maneuvered at 139, which we'll talk about that in a minute. And then when the heat's on, you're just going to leave me in a passenger seat and take off running? But that's what old buddy did. That's what he did. That's why you shouldn't let anybody drive your car, man, because you never know what they're going to get into. And when the heat's around the corner, it's your car, not theirs. They're going to take off. But pit maneuvering at 139. I think that's the fastest that I've ever seen on this channel is 139. You know, um, I've never seen it. I mean, I, I want to say maybe 110. 112, maybe some GSP type stuff, but 139, like that just lets you know that that department, and when I say that department, Arkansas State Police, they have no rules, and correct me if I'm wrong here, you guys check me, because I know you guys are good at that, like they have no rules as it pertains to pit maneuvers, I think it's one of those things like as long as it doesn't jeopardize the uh, general public or any of the, uh, you know, uh, civilians, pedestrians, whatever the case may be, as long as they're not in jeopardy, you can pit maneuver at any speed. Like, to my understanding, in North Carolina, I think anything over 50 miles an hour in Highway Patrol has to back off. You know, anything over 50 miles an hour, they have to back off. Now, they're going to follow you. They're going to stay on your ass. But they can't pit maneuver you at over 50 miles an hour. That's not the same for every department. GSP, they will pit maneuver you at 130, 150, whatever they catch you at. I've seen GSP put the, I don't know if you remember that video back in the day where that white Jeep and it wasn't an SRT, but it was running from a GSP and they pit maneuvered his ass and put him into the bushes and that thing went sky high and everybody in there died. Yeah, like that. They will pit maneuver you at any speed. And apparently Arkansas State Police will as well. 139 is wild. You're pushing that RT at 139. 
You know what I mean? I've seen some people, I don't know what they top out at. I know they go to, RTs go up to 160. Yeah, RTs go to 160, scats go to 180, and then cats are 200 plus. So um, he still had some wiggle room, but damn, he was getting close to the ceiling. But to pit maneuver somebody at 139, they don't care, but they wanted his ass. They got the passenger. They didn't get the driver, though, unfortunately. So, I mean, you know, RT down. I've told you guys in the past, if your RT is stock, you may not want to You may not want to cross that bridge with highway patrol because you're going 5.7 for 5.7, especially on the highway, too, because at the highway, we're just talking about top speed, just straight out. And it's one of those things like you got two people in the car. It's weighted down versus a, a, a you know all-wheel drive 5.7 charger, which probably is a little bit heavier, honestly. But as you can see, that 5.7 ate him up. You know what I mean? Uh, it ate him up with the quickness. And truth be told, that could be a V6, honestly. I don't remember seeing any badges. I'm going based off of the original video. That could have been a V6 Challenger, so I don't know. But either way, that 5.7 ate him up, man. Stop running if you don't have the power. If you can outdrive him, that's one thing. But if you're on the highway, it's a straight shot. If you don't have the power... Don't do it. Spinny Boy Knockout 360. Tell me what you think about the audio setup. Peace.